Good morning. Let's take a look at how to use our e-textbook to complete the hands-on activities for each chapter in our course. So you can see on the screen I'm already at the course's Blackboard site. At the left I'm going to click Pearson's My Lab and I'm going to advance us to the My IT Lab course content. As that loads then one of the first things I'll see is a link to the e-textbook. Now you can use your ebook or your printed book. The work that you'll do is exactly the same. Okay, so here I'm going to click on the comprehensive e-text and it's going to open up in its own link. So I'll wait for that and open that new window. And then I need to advance. I'm just going to use chapter five as an example. I'll advance to chapter five and we still are required to read all of the pages in the chapter. And in fact, the pages outside of the actual steps that you complete are just so helpful to help to building your understanding of like why we do something and how it works and why it works and stuff like that. So take the time to actually read all of that context. And it does, and the book does a really nice job also of pro providing us a scenario to work with so we understand like the business purposes of the work that we do. Okay, so now my book's finally open. I'm going to click here to get the table of contents. The book includes um, other sections on Office. We're only using the Excel portion, so I'm going to expand Excel, and then I'm going to go down to Chapter 5 as our example. Now, I could again expand within Chapter 5, but I'm just going to start right at the beginning, so I'm going to click there to have that page open. Oh, one more time there to have the beginning part of chapter five open. And then on the screen, I can just advance page to page. And again, if you're using your printed book, this is all the same material. You can just read from page to page. Then when you get to the shaded parts, so I'm just gonna advance a couple pages here, having read all of this. By the way, when I read the chapter, I highlight the important things that I learn and I take notes in the margins as well. It's just It just helps me to remember what I'm learning because again, it's all the context to why things work. Okay, so, um, so when I get to a shaded section, that's the steps that I actually have to complete. So in Blackboard, so I'm gonna hop back to Blackboard for just a second. I'm going to go to chapter five. I give you the files that you need to work with for every hands-on, for every chapter hands-on. So here I have the Excel file that the book will tell me to have open, and then I can complete the steps. Oops, where's my book? There it is. I'll complete these steps, for example, sorting the, you know, I'll go to the appropriate sheet, sort the data, convert it to a range. I'll do all of these steps right in that sheet. So follow along page by page. And at certain pages, it'll tell you to save it. Then it might tell you to open the next file or a related file or open that file and keep working. And in Blackboard, I tell you exactly which files you wanna be working with. And I tell you exactly which files you'll be submitting. So read all of that information here in Blackboard as well. Okay, so as you complete the hands-on activity, I believe you're ready for chapter six. Go ahead, get that work done. If you have any questions along the way, you are welcome to email me at any time. I'm here to help.